understand restaurants have a certain price program that they need to manage to ensure that they actually survive. If you went out for a meal, you maybe, let's say you had two pizzas and it cost you 200 rand, and the house wine cost you 200 rand as well, and to make matters worse, it only costs 55 rand in the shop, and you know it. So people are saying, why should I do this? Is it courteous to bring my own wine? And what are the reasons for doing it? Better wine is number one, and the cost, the sticker shock at the end of the day. So you can go and buy a five-star John Platter wine, whether it be online or in, in a retail environment. You can go and get for under 200 rand, three five-star wines, not each, but in total, and you paid a 50 rand corkage, you'd still be almost cheaper than the house wine that they're serving. Is a 50 rand corkage a standard price? 50 or to 100 rand. restaurants, they, they differ? The restaurants do differ, and it would rather depend on what they're offering is in the first place. So if you put some effort into your wine list and you had a, a seller, you might want to charge a bit more. However, there is something taking place in the background there. The waiter is serving you, that you're getting ice, you're getting an ice bucket, they're glassware. There's a reason to charge. It's not just a penalty fee that you bought your own wine. There's, there's got to be something at the back end. But even with Cockage at 100 Rand and your favorite bottle of wine there, you still can save it. You still would have saved. You, even at a 200 Rand bottle of wine, if you put the total mark at 300, if you go and look at the average price of a bottle of wine on a wine list, it's a very mediocre wine at that price. But how do you go about doing it? Because sometimes, I mean, it's like you're feeling a bit self-conscious, embarrassing, you've got your bottle with yes. you, walking into a restaurant. Well, then you have to say to the waiter, can you please ask the, the manager? I mean, how do you really go about it? Call in anyway? advance. Get a wine bag first. That saves all the, the pain of putting it under your arm in a brown bag. Okay, get a little get wine, a wine bag. <laughs> Phone in first and ask if you're allowed to, if there's a corkage policy. Don't bring the same wine as on their wine list. That's... What is the point of that? They're just looking cheaper. Half bottles of wine that are pre-opened, it's a no-no. It must and be close. It must be close. New, no, let's, okay. let's be realistic. And it must not be on their list. And it shouldn't be on their list. Okay. And it should be something a little more special. If you're bringing a bottle of supermarket wine, you weren't really doing anything to upgrade your quality of your meal. Rather bring a better bottle of wine and share a little bit with the manager as well. Let oh. him taste. Let him see what he could be serving yeah. you. What's the experience you're hearing people are like getting, those who are part of the movement? I mean, is it working out well? Because it's not just a South African thing. It's working out well worldwide. Uh, everyone has the same sort of experience, especially if you're traveling as a South African overseas and you're paying in euros, dollars. You, you might see a little bit of a problem when you get to the wine list. In Paris, uh, average glass of wine is probably eight euros. That's very expensive. Yeah. So if you were not able to phone before, I mean, life happens. You're in a rush, da, 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 suddenly, and you, you say, no, 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 I can't afford to pay for that. I've got mine, whatever. When you get to the door, could you still negotiate? You can still negotiate. You ask, them, ask the host when you arrive, is it all right if I bring this bottle? It's a special occasion. If they say no, say, well, no problem. Don't open it. Leave it on the table. Order something else. Order a beer if you like. But do ask. Don't just pop it on the table, open it yourself, and think it's okay. Yeah. It's courtesy involved. Now, your website, uh, just very briefly before we finish, say it's, it's, it's uh, salewine.co.za. Salewine.co.za? Yeah. Is it set up to assist uh, people to look, I'm just going to use the general term, for good bargains, for good wines? Good bargains, good wines. Quality wine it might not be in every supermarket, but at a price that's far more affordable. And we're available for advice all the time on the email info at salewine.co.za. this is free advice? Free advice. We're, we're there to help. We want you to enjoy better wine in South Africa, and we help the smaller farmers get a market in South Africa.